first time I fished the big shallow cove, I knew I was going to have trouble presenting my boilies over the giant shag carpet of dying weeds which covered the lake bottom. I knew I had to get better at making pop-ups, and I needed to learn how to tie a chod rig. Chod is a term used for leaf matter and debris that builds up on the lake bottom, and the chod rig was designed to fish over this as well as over weeds. It's especially effective in the fall when there can be a whole lot of stuff on the bottom. The only problem was I didn't have chod filament, chod hooks, chod swivels, rig rings, or bait floss. And I really didn't want to buy all of that. Firstly, I'm kind of a cheapskate. But more importantly, I wanted to go fishing again in a few days. And if I ordered those things, they wouldn't arrive in time. Another concern of mine was how to incorporate pack bait into this rig. You know I love my pack bait. So I decided to just use my regular hair rig, use bobber stops to adjust the height of the chod rig, and substitute a spring feeder for the lead weight which usually anchors a chod rig. It worked. I get a lot more bites that don't result in hookups but a regular hair rig setup seems to just get lost in all the weeds in this cove. I'm sure much of my pack bait gets lost in the weeds also, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The oils and floating particles I use bring scent up into the water column, and when a carp goes down to investigate, hopefully the only thing he sees is my pop-up. Also, as carp root through the dead weeds trying to get to the pack bait crumbs, they should begin to clear a spot on the lake bottom, which will make it easier to present bait in the days ahead. I will continue to tweak the feeder chod rig and I will keep you informed. In the meantime, good luck out there. <laughs>